Yo, what's going on guys, Helvika here, and ignore the dog barking in the background, okay? But let's just get right into this video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the... Not really top five, just a couple things you can do to your car for under like 50 bucks to make... To give it basically a makeover. This is all aesthetic, nothing expensive. Uh, don't go heavy with it, don't be doing this to every part of your car, or you're probably going to be called a ricer, or it's just going to look tacky. So let's get right into the video. Obviously, the main focus of this video is aesthetics, so Plasti Dip can help Major League transform the look of your car. Here, I Plasti Dipped my grill, and as you can see, this used to be a chrome and black standard grill. Now it's a blackout grill. It looks really nice, and it's going to match up once I tint my windows. That is another thing. The, the grill, this only costed five bucks. Get a can of Plasti Dip and put a couple coats on it nice and even. Look up some instructional videos, and it even comes with instructions. And you can do this for about $5.85 and basically give it a whole new look. I recommend doing the wheels when you do that, though. Obviously, you would want to do your rims when you do that, and I'll show you why. So, he, these are the stock rim color. I'm going to show you the Plasti Dipped rims. These are the Plasti Dipped rims, and surprisingly, it doesn't make the car look cheap. It doesn't make it look like wheels without hubcaps. It looks really nice if done properly and matched with something like a grill and tinted windows. It can really just transform the look of your car to a standard car, stock car look to a blackout smoke kind of stealth look. So let's let's look at these up close. Here they are, these are the, just the standard rims that came with my car. I kept the lug nuts chrome just to give it like an offset. And look at look at that. I'm gonna have to redo them soon because I'm getting new tires anyway and, and that's probably gonna mess it up. But yeah, do this once you get new tires. If you're about to change your tires, I don't recommend spraying them because it may chip once you get new tires. As you can see, I'm in desperate need of new tires. But these look very clean, look just like aftermarket rims. Obviously, they are the stock rims, and that Plasti Dipped grill really complements it. Now, that's probably what I'm going to leave it as, because if I do anything else, such as black out the uh, mirrors, maybe the hood, the roof, it looks really tacky, cheap, and it just does not look good, because obviously it's not a real carbon hood, and it wouldn't be a real carbon roof or see-through roof, so you wouldn't want to do that. This is 100% fine, because you're, I mean, you're just changing the color, and also, let's move on to the next thing. More Plasti Dip, yes. I wanted to complete the look with the back end of my car. Unfortunately, this piece broke off when I was going to do it, but my taillights came out absolutely perfect. You only want to use about two coats if you want to have a little bit of transparency when the lights are not shining through. As you can see, the top, you can see a little bit through, and the red is peeking through on the sides, in person at least. But if you want to go for a full matte black, three to four coats will do that for you. Uh, sometimes that can come out globbed or wrong, though, but these lights match the rims perfectly and the grill does too and it just completely transformed the look of this car and when the windows are tinted out it's just going to be a whole new look. Another thing you can do to your car to transform the look of your car is to get stuff like this. Obviously this is scent. You want your car to smell good so definitely get that. Those are like three bucks. That has nothing to do with aesthetics. I just saw that and thought I'd point it out. You can get actual lights. I don't have them yet but it's a bar that runs under here and displays different color lights whatever color you want and it goes over here too. You can basically mount them anywhere and yeah that changes the look of your car quite a bit. You can get a steering wheel cover, some seat covers if your seats are in. My seats are nice and clean though. Another cool accessory you can buy for your car is an aftermarket radio. I paid 108 bucks for the radio I have. Obviously, it's not installed yet. You're going to have to pay about 50 to 60 bucks in an installation fee. If you don't know how to install it, as it is extremely hard, you have to splice each and every one of these wires together, which I really am not interested in doing. So, yeah. A new aftermarket radio, I recommend Pioneer DEH-X models, 6900 BT. Beautiful radio. Another thing is either buy new headlights or shine the old ones up. Quick tip, I can make a whole new video on this, but as a quick tip... Take some toothpaste and put a spot on there and really get it in there, side to side like this at least three times. And then after that's done, up and down like this across at least three times. Then do circles and then get it off there. That's what I did. Mine were very yellow and they came out looking brand new. That'll really just, not only will that increase the value of your car because it really does just change the whole look. It does change the whole look of your car and it makes it look really nice and clean. Obviously, there are plenty more aesthetic mods you can do, such as body kits, skirts, different color things, like uh, the trim there, chrome around here, black around there, whatever you want to do. Lots of more aesthetics. I just thought I'd point out some of the things I've done, I plan on doing, or things you can basically just do that really won't break your wallet. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, as that's going to be the first video in my car series, uh, my car showcase series, accessory series, 
mod series, stuff like that. I'm going to be doing more videos like this once I get a cold air intake, once I get my radio installed, once I get my windows tinted, and it's just going to be a really fun time. If you guys are into cars, definitely leave a subscription and leave a like, and comment down below what kind of car you guys have, any mods you recommend, any cool uh, accessories you, you guys recommend, any cheap upgrades you guys recommend, stuff like that. I kind of want to have a little community here, try to build this up. Uh, I saw another YouTuber, his name is Tanner TV. He did it, and uh, he's got 5,000 subscribers, and he's just chilling. He makes videos on his car, and it's a really fun time every time you go to watch his videos. So that's kind of what I want to create here with my own car. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.